What is going on everybody? Coming to you guys again with another video and the official first installment of Ed Chat. Yes, I'm bringing it back. Posted a video about a week ago and it was surrounding the Fear of Fat and it was essentially a remake of my original uh, Fear of Fat video that I had in my Ed Chat series that I ran on my channel back in 2013. So it's great to be doing these again and I look forward to it. So without further ado, let's get right into the topic. Now you're already reading the title of this video and you already have an opinion on the matter, but I just really want to say first that this is only going to be geared towards those who are recovering from anorexia or any sort of eating disorder and teenagers that are beginning to count calories or track macros. So if you're not among those two groups, you're really just taking into consideration I'm speaking directly towards those two groups of people. So. Here we go. I've been getting a lot of messages lately, a lot of comments from people, and it's really always something I wanted to touch on and share my own opinions on. My opinion on it is that I do not believe in it at all. Food is simply energy. That food is delicious. Food is something that should be enjoyed. Food isn't something that I should be counting. Counting every gram of food I put in my body, I shouldn't be needing to input anything into some calculator. I shouldn't be doing any of that. Uh, that's what I believe. Now this is extremely important for those of us who are recovering and want to lead a non-rigid lifestyle and view towards food. That you do not, and I repeat, do not need to count or track any macros or anything of that nature in order to get yourself into a better state with food. It's simple. You've been feeding yourself for uh, however long you've been alive. I mean, consider me, I'm 22 years old. I've fed myself all my life. Granted, during those dark times with my eating disorder, I wasn't doing the best at it, but think about before then. Think about before you had your eating disorder. I would say the number one justification uh, for those who have tried to, to come to me and say, hey, well, if I don't track calories or track my macros, then I'm not necessarily gonna be eating enough. I'm not gonna know how I'm gonna be getting enough calories. And that does have some validity, but you need to think about what you've been doing before you had your eating disorder, before you uh, came to be obsessed and focused on food. And that's essentially my main point, is that you always have known how much you need to go back to when I was a teenager, when I was chubbier and I played soccer. If I was sluggish and felt like crap one day, I would obviously eat more. It's second nature. That's how normal people go about their lives. If they're feeling sluggish, if they're extra tired, uh, if they're just not performing the way they feel that they should be performing, they simply just eat more or they get more sleep. It's just not something that they overthink and overanalyze like we always have been. I have a lot of teenagers asking me, Eric, should I count macros? Should I track my calories? And again, this isn't gonna be surprising to most of you watching this video, and it is absolutely not something I'm gonna recommend you do at your age. You really wanna be that kid? I certainly was. I can remember one night going out to In-N-Out after we played a concert. I was in a band for, I would say, about a year. I play guitar, I'm an avid guitarist. Long story short, we went out to In-N-Out, and I literally sat there in fear because I had no idea the amount of calories were in the burgers, I had no idea what I'd be consuming, what I'd be putting in my body, and it was unclean food. I just, I would not touch it, and I sat there just cringing as my friends got to enjoy that in and out They were practically throwing french fries at me, making fun of me because I was the healthy kid. All because I had no idea what was in the food, I, did, I couldn't track anything, and I fasted through that meal, and it was just a horrible experience. That was one memory that will stick out to me for the rest of my life and I would never, ever, ever, ever wish that upon anybody, any teenager. And um, I mean, and then there's just all the other secondary experiences, sitting alone at lunch, uh, eating in my car because I was too afraid to eat around other people, um, inputting everything into a MyFitnessPal app, or um, there used to be a Fit Day app that a lot of people would use too. I would just sit there and just crunch, 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 and every number had to be accurate, it had to be the same, and it just led to a lot of just just dark memories and I just do not wish that upon any teenager that should be having fun in high school that should be going out on the weekends that should just be enjoying life it's just not meant to be about that there is a huge obesity epidemic that exists in our country and I feel like it's great for those teenagers because essentially that's also a disorder as well we have to really realize that too is that these individuals have become accustomed to massive amounts of food on a daily basis and that's essentially all they can think about. In this sense, I can see a reason for a teenager to really be shown what a day or a few days worth of calories looks like for them to really realize like, wow, I'm eating that much food versus what I need to be eating, what I should be eating, what a normal person 
really eats on a daily basis or what a normal teenager eats on a daily basis. That's what it all boils down to on what's normal, what's what, what it actually looks like. And I just don't feel like that sort of rigidity at that age is just optimal in any sense. Taking a step back to the issue of whether it's okay to track calories and macronutrients when you're in recovery, it all boils down to this, guys. It all boils down to whether you have a healthy relationship with food, whether you're ready to do that yet. I know a lot of people have been able to do that successfully, and I've, I've known a lot of people that haven't been able to do that successfully. Uh, numbers are what get us into this mindset. They're certainly what got me into that mindset, and I just choose not to do that. Granted, I am okay. I've had times where I've been able to go, hey, I just am not performing the way I should be. Uh, let's see what a few days look like for me tracking and just to get a general sense of what I've been eating and how I can eat more. I can turn it on and I can turn it off essentially. That's again what it boils down to. If you're not able to do that, then you're not really okay with tracking macros. So everybody, that's just what I think. Uh, that's what I've just grown to believe over the years. Uh, you know, I'm now I'm most likely gonna get a lot of feedback from people that aren't among those two groups of people and that's perfectly okay as well. Uh, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, that's mine. Uh, this is the first official episode in the Ed Chat series and I have a lot more coming up so I just wanted to get this out to you guys. Stay tuned for the next video and if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, you know the drill. Thanks guys, stay tuned for the next one.